From the wetlands of Florida to the mountains of California, producers all across the nation have figured out how to raise their cattle in spite of challenging weather and terrain. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brian Baxter spends a day in the life of one North Dakota rancher who is determined to raise quality cattle no matter what challenges he's faced with. We had what my friends coined an old McDonald farm, so we had every species of livestock you could think of. Doug Beekler is a third generation rancher and has had a passion for the beef industry his entire life. I was out helping with chores ever since I was a little kid. Uh, there's a, a picture of me probably when I was three or four underneath a dairy cow um, helping my dad milk cows. Today, Doug runs Beekler Simmentals and Red Angus in Linton, North Dakota, the same operation his grandfather started back in 1920. We have mainly Simmental cows because we like the combination of disposition, mothering ability, and uh, phenotype that we get out of the Simmentals. We started raising Simmentals when I was very young. Uh, we've had Simmental bulls as long as I can remember and I've always been drawn to the Semitals, and so that's what I continued on with when I graduated from college. We did add some Red Angus cows to our herd because some of our customers do like to use Red Angus on their heifers. Not only do they have the characteristics Doug is looking for, but he also believes Simmental cattle work well in the rugged terrain where his operation is located. Well, obviously with the uh, more aggressive terrain, we need to have cows that are sound. So soundness is, is uh, a key factor. We also need cattle that are, are hardy. The winters here can be pretty severe. Uh, so we need cattle that are, are gonna perform in the winter. Beekler Simmentals has an annual bull sale in February and a female sale in November. And the origin behind their fall sale might surprise you. We market females to both commercial and seed stock producers with the mentality that any of the females that we sell, we would have no problem putting back into our own cow herd. And the reason we do that is because we simply produce too many females to utilize in our own herd. So we started the sale with the mindset that we could basically produce these females for other uh, operators. Beekler Simmental strives to raise top quality cattle to ensure each and every customer is completely satisfied. And while they're continually growing their business, they place a high emphasis on quality versus quantity. We sell about 65 bulls, so we're probably one of the smaller sales up in, in this region, but we focus on quality cattle that have uh, performance, soundness, uh, great dispositions, and uh, a lot of natural thickness. Right now, we are at about 175 brood cows that, that we calve out each spring, and we've grown that pretty significantly the last few years. When I first started, I started with about 10 cows, and that was in the year 2000. So in about 13 years, we've grown the herd significantly. No matter how well their sale days might go or how much their business grows, Doug believes customer service is the number one key to success. We believe in, in good customer service. We stand behind what we sell. We have a philosophy that if we don't wanna keep it in our herd, we're not gonna sell it to somebody else. Being in the cattle business, sometimes things don't work out how you want. And so we stand behind our cattle if something should happen. I've even given my own herd sires to producers before just to make sure that their cows get bred. So we like to stand behind our cattle and, and we're pretty proud of what we produce. Reporting from Beekler Simmentals in Linton, North Dakota, I'm Brian Baxter for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. To join Doug Beekler and become a member of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association, just give us a call at 1-866-USA-BEEF or email us at c2c at beef.org.